Hey guys, this is Kevin. Today we're going to make some stamps. You'll probably use this Brother Stamp Maker Pro, which MSRP is about uh, $1,500. Um, but today we're going to use one port laser engraver color to do the same job. Because the Brother machine is pretty limited to what kind of stamp it can do. You're limited on size and the resolution. I think Brother is only 620 DPI. But with this machine, the same price you pay for Brother, you can get three of this. And also you can use this to do a lot of other cool projects. I'm going to put a link of this mount port laser machine in the description. And if you're interested, please check it out. First, the cool stamps need cool designs. And we're going to use a mid journey artificial intelligence to generate our stamp. But we don't know how to ask Midjourney, so we go to chat GPT first. Midjourney is more like a super Nazi in the same field. If you don't know how to ask, it just gives you garbage and no soup for you. So go to openai.com and sign up for chat GPT. I know you have a free version. However, currently, if you use chat GPT 4, which know how to write for mid-journey, you have to sign up for their premium, which is about $20 a month. So right now I'm using a JPT 3.5. I asked it to write the journey prompt if based on the Starbucks logo. And the JPT just wrote me a poem. I doesn't have any idea what mid-journey is. So we switch to chat GPT 4. So you're gonna talk to mid-journey this way. And I read it, and I really want the logo has a girl with long hair, so you can just do it this way. And you can just add as much as possible. My wife wants the girl holding a hockey stick. You want to get your shit all done before you go to Mid Journey. I didn't get any bread. Just forget it, let it go. Bread, two dollars extra. You want bread? Yes, please. Three dollars! Now we go to midjourney.com and sign up and sign in. And Midjourney run a Discord account, so you're going to sign up for Discord too. So you sign up for two accounts for Midjourney. If you're sure what you're doing, ask your kids, and they will tell you what Discord is. And also, there are lots of instruction videos how to set up your Midjourney. Now we're in, so we double-click one of those newbie channels, and we do a slash and the word imagine, and you're going to see a prompt and ask you to input a prompt. So we'll paste what we copied from the ChatGPT, and you can see here's our request. Later on, it get better and better, and then you're gonna see some button below, and the U1 is upscale one. You want to make it larger, so it's U1, U2, U3, so on and so forth. For making a stamp, this is good enough resolution, so we don't need the upscale, and we can just click V1 in browser or just save to our hard disk. Of course, if you like one of the design, but you want to vary a little bit, you can also click variation. It's going to create a variation of that design. I'll pick this one that the brother printer cannot do and to show you how fun it is. I'm using a Photoshop. It's very important for you. If you make stamps, you know how to write a circular text. I just use a pen to cover up those letters. Now I get a Eclipse tool and draw a circle. It doesn't matter if I want the circle to see through or not. I just want the shape of the circle. Now I click Text 2, and when you move the cursor to where you want to start, the cursor change to a T with a squeegee thing there. See, it change. Okay. When you say have that squeegee thing, just click, and then just type in what you want. BCH Technologies, EST 2011, USA. Yeah, I like a capitalized B. Look at that. And we need to go to image rotation and flip horizontally. And layer, flatten the layers. Image adjustment and the invert. This will reverse the black and white. And the black part is the part going to burn down. And the white part is going to keep and which receive ink. I'm going to use rubber, which is special design for the stamp burning. It's pretty cheap. I'll put a link in the description if you want it. Drag the stamp on and also resize it to the size of your ink pad. Click that Google Map thing and then click the start of your design. 
Are you going to see the head of the laser move to where the graphic will start? Now we can click home and start burning. You can try to burn at a different intensity. What's beauty for this model is you can adjust the power here. So we try the different power level, and after cleaning it up, we pick the deepest groove and the clearest pattern. I didn't have time to get a base made, so I'll just use this one. It's a little bit smaller, and you can see the hair is out. So I'm probably not going to stamp clearly on the hair, which is a bummer. We're going to use a BCH old surface stamp ink, and we have a yellow gold and a rose gold. Okay, we're going to do the rose gold. This ink virtually works on any surface. If you need it, you can go to bchtechnology.com and go to Stamping and More and click All Surface. We're going to shake it first, punch a hole on the aluminum foil, and you can see there's a white washer to help you to reseal the bottle. Now we remove the cap off and we can start using the ink. For the new pad, I like to use a spatula, just even out the ink. The first few stamps won't be that nice because the ink is now the evenly distributed. And find out where it's missing the ink and you can add more ink. And now I start getting pretty. Check out how fine the BCH technology is. And now you can personalize your company's shipping bag. I got people use our ink to do a whole bunch of crazy things. Okay, I hope this video tickled your creative bones. Please visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.